Hi, in today's video I'm going to take a look at installing the latest version of YT DLP on FreeBSD even if you're using quarterly packages. Quarterly packages are packages that are released every three months. You also have latest packages which as the name suggests um, you get as they come out basically but if you're running quarterly packages which are more stable you can have an older version of YT DLP. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, YT DLP installed with the FreeBSD package will be installed in user local bin YT DLP and you can see the version here was uh, June basically. So what we want to do is install a newer version because uh, the as it's called rolling cipher on YouTube gets updated a lot so YT DLP is one of those applications where you really do want the latest version and what we're going to be doing is actually manually downloading the release and using that instead of the PKG however there's a couple of tips you need to uh, follow to get this to work so what I'm going to do is switch across over to here to Emacs uh, the problem is that the YT DLP shebang, the bit of code at the top of the script, actually points to Python 3. Um, and the issue is on FreeBSD, Python is installed as Python 3.9. I'll show you. LS, L user local, local bin Python. Uh, you can see Python 3.9 here. So what happens is when you run YTDLP, it's going to print out an error uh, saying um, environment Python 3 not found. So basically the first part of the fix is we need to create a symbolic link from user local bin Python 3.9 to user local bin Python 3. So I've got Python uh, 3.9 installed. I think it must have been as a dependency for something. But otherwise, make sure you've got it installed. You know, do a uh, pkg search um, Python. And you see you've got Python 3.9, these different versions here. So make sure you've got Python installed. We create the symbolic link like that. So if I switch across here, you'll see ls user local bin Python 3. Okay. And that points to Python 3.9. You can see the symbolic link Python 3 points to point, uh, Python 3.9. Okay. The next step that we need to do is we need to override the binary that's installed in user local bin. What we're going to be doing, as I said, is downloading YTDLP and we're going to install it in the bin directory in our home and have that take precedence over the version that's installed in user local bin. And the way we do that is by editing our ZSH EMV or the equivalent of you're using another shell. And what we're going to do is actually set our path here. So what you can see here is path equals home bin then user local bin and then path. And basically what this does is this will set the um, bin directory in our home to be before the user local bin directory. So if I do echo path, you'll see uh, my home directory bin uh, takes precedence over the one in user local bin. And so what that means is that um, any scripts that we put in our, the bin directory in our home is going to take precedence over the one installed by PKG. So I'll show you what I mean. If I now run which YT DLP, you'll see that it's actually picking up the version in my bin directory instead of the one in user local bin okay uh, use local bin yt dlp and again if i run the version 
that's the installed the pkg installed version is 220706 um if i run ytdlp version here you see um it's 20 23 11 16. So we've got the latest version of YTDLP installed. So all you need to do um, is come to the releases. So come come across to the releases here. Give a second. And what you want to do is download this one, YTDLP, not YTDLP Linux. So download YTDLP. Then what you need to do is make it executable change mod plus X YTDLP and move it into the bin directory in your home. And if you haven't got bin directory, create one. So all you need to do is mvyt-dlp tilde forward slash bin. And then when you check the version, you'll see that you're actually running the latest version. So I said, quick recap, we create the symbolic link. Um, make sure you've got Python 3.9 installed. So symbolic link from user local bin Python 3.9 to user local bin Python 3. That's the first part of the fix. Next part, as I said, is editing your ZSH EMV or the equivalent um, on your shell and prepending the bin directory in your home to use a local bin. Download it, make it executable, move it into place and you're done. So that's it. So that's how you can have the latest version of YTDLP running on FreeBSD because as I said, if you're running the quarterly packages, the version is going to be quite old. Um, and I personally don't run the latest packages because I did once. And I remember um, they had an issue where FFmpeg didn't build, so there was no release. And what that basically meant was anything that depended on FFmpeg didn't work. So video players, music, browsers, um, so that's why I run the quarterly release of packages because um, I got bitten once and, um, you know, better play it safe and have nice stable packages. But as I said, sometimes you want the latest and greatest um, for a reason. Um, and that reason is because um, the rolling ciphers on things like YouTube um, or different streaming sites kind of get updated quite a lot. So you need to... Um, update to the latest version of YTDLP. Um, and I said, if you're running the quarterly packages, that means you're going to have to wait another three months. Um, and if you want to update YTDLP, um, I believe it's dash capital U. Okay, yeah. So all you need to do to make sure that you've got the latest version of YTDLP once you've got it set up is run YT dash DLP dash capital U. And it's going to update to the latest version and applications that use YTDLP will actually use the latest version that you've got in your bin directory because of the way we prepended the bin directory to our shell path. So things like MPV um, and other scripts that you've got or applications that use YTDLP in the background will use the latest version as opposed to the older version installed with PKG. So I'll put links to all that under the video and I hope that helps you get set up with the latest version of YT DLP on FreeBSD.